We have our ninth place finisher here at the WSOP main event, Chase. A lot of people at home don't know that you know once you bust the final table, even the, the day before, it's like media interviews, people wanting to talk to you, just exhausted, exciting. What's the, what's the feeling to like summarize right now? The exhaustion definitely started to set in last night. We had a pretty grueling day last night. We had to get down to nine, so it was a really long day. Um, this morning I actually felt pretty good, but uh, you know, uh, you can't control how long the day goes sometimes. What was the a big moment, a pivotal moment, if you kind of have to look back at uh, the best moment, an exciting moment? Days three and four, both days, I started off the day and within a couple hours lost about 75% of my chips. And both days I just had to like mentally refocus and not give up because there's no punts in the main event. It's too big of a tournament. So fortunately I was able to run it back up both days. It was pretty, pretty big uh, to come back. And you already have one WSOP bracelet. You now have a final table under your belt. Does this make you a little more hungry for some, you know, poker? Or is this like, okay, I could take the year off and not come back till next year? Uh, well, I'm retired from poker and I'm not planning on coming back. I'll still play the main event. You know, maybe I'll fire a couple here and there, but uh, poker is kind of in the rear view. It's more of a hobby now, and uh, I think it'll stay there. It's a good place for it to be. It keeps it fun, you know, when you're not desperate for it. Totally, yeah. Poker's a great game. It's just, for most people, it's a better hobby than a profession. <laughs> Wise words from the uh, WSOP final tableist. And lastly, what do you credit? You know, of course, everyone who plays poker wants to be in your shoes. They want to get there. They want to sit down at that final table. What is maybe one or two things that you credit being able to get there this year, too? Uh, the, the work I put in, over, like, 12 years ago, over the last 12 years, you know, but I really haven't studied poker much. I just put myself in good situations and and tried to perform the best I can. I guess I would say when you show up to the main event, play your game, you're not going to get any better in one day, and just try to execute. All right, congratulations to Chase Bianchi. He's going to hop a flight home, go see his wife and kids as soon as possible, and celebrate a million dollar payday. Does, does wife have any plans for the money? Uh, not really. <laughs> She's just, you know, whatever you do, it's good. Yeah. Sounds good. We really enjoyed watching you play, watching your the deme demeanor at the table. Uh, you're a bit of a more unique figure. Um, and any shout outs you want to give to the people that have been sweating you at home? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, my virtual rail has been big. I know I don't have big rail in person, but a lot of people back home rooting for me. I really appreciate it. Have been able to keep up on the socials, but I see you guys. Thank you. All right, you can use that flight heading home to check all those DMs. I'm Tiffany Michelle. This is Poker News. We are at the WSOP main event, and we are powered by Club GG.